Hello and welcome to This Day Devo, Pastor Guy here, and uh, I hope you're having a great day. I hope this day, this week, has become strong for you. We are in the last two days of the Book of Romans, and uh, today, today we receive the wrap-up, the beginning of a lengthy conclusion from Paul as he wraps up this letter in an encouraging way. Uh, when, and today we read to start that Romans 15 verse 14 through 33 and tomorrow we'll read uh, Romans 16. So Paul has been through this letter hard hitting, right? You notice that he's been aggressive. He's been blunt. He has thrown it down. He, 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 he's let, he's showing these Roman Christians some really important impressive tight standards of what it means to be a follower of Christ whether you're a Jew or a Gentile in a place like the Roman Empire in the powerhouse of modern day at this time we live in that place today we live in America we live in the Roman Empire of the 21st century let's just be honest about that so we can see these how some of this stuff lines up and so he's been hitting hard but falling it all with a with a beautiful uh, articulate grace at the end and now today we get to see the reason for his writing we get to see again his heart his heart for christ and his heart for the people of rome his reason for even doing this and he wants them to know that he sees that they're full of goodness he wants them to know that these things i've been explaining to you listen I didn't do this because I didn't think you knew. I didn't do this because I thought you needed taught more. I didn't do this because I think you don't understand. I sent this letter as a reminder. It's just a reminder, guys. It's a reminder. I think you know this stuff well enough that you could teach it. But I wanted to remind you. I wanted to be an encouragement to you. You know, I think a lot of the things that you're probably, if you've been wired in church throughout your life, a lot of things that you've been reading uh, throughout the Devo this year have been reminders. And, and so much of what we do in, in a week-to-week cycle of, of church and worship and Sunday mornings is we need to come and we need to be reminded. Reminded of God's love for us. Reminded uh, that the anchor holds. Reminded that forgiveness is our confidence in God keeping His promises. And so in this He is expressing that that's what I'm doing here. I'm reminding you of the grace of God. And and he does so in such a humble way because he's, listen, it is only by the grace of God that I can be a gospel messenger. It's by the grace of God that I am saved and it's by the grace of God that I can be this missionary. But he has such a desire. He is enthusiastic about going to places in the world where there are no other churches. I mean, in modern-day America, it's hard to find somewhere where, there, where somebody hasn't already brought the gospel. There are churches all over the place. His desire is to find places. This wouldn't have been the case back then. So his desire is to go into places where they don't know anything. And when he gets to go there... He sees that it's not his ability to speak. It's not how charismatic he is. It's not how articulate he is. It is what he proclaims here in verse 19. They were convinced by the power of miraculous signs and wonders and by the power of God's spirit. And I have presented fully the good news of Christ. He's saying, listen, I am a humble servant. I preach Jesus and The power of God's Spirit shows up and changes lives and saves souls. This is what we always do. We've set the table. We set the table and trust that God's Spirit will move and save souls. And it's such a beautiful thing here to see that. So I hope today, that, and as you've been reading Romans, this is this reminder, this reminder of God's love for you, His grace that covers your sins, and the power of His working in your life. So praise God today and just be encouraged that the same truth that Paul taught 2,000 years ago through the Spirit of God is the same truth that we're reading, believing uh, every day as we trust in Jesus. It's the same God, the same truth, the same story that we're preaching every Sunday. It doesn't matter what's going on in the Roman Empire. 
It doesn't matter what's going on in the American empire. I mean, we just had debates this past week. I mean, that's all important. But big whoop, it's small potatoes. It's small potatoes compared to what God's been doing through history. The Roman Empire came and left. It rose and it fell. America rose someday, probably long after us and our children are gone. Someday America will be replaced by another empire. But God's kingdom stands forever. And so praise him for that. Let's be reminded of God's goodness and that your hearts are good because your hearts are made right with Christ. He gave you a new heart. Have a great day. I love you. I'll see you. See you soon. Bye. Sent down from heaven as the power of Christ.